Like, that is complete and total BS. Like, do you see what you have to put up with, right? Like, you see what you have to put up with. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. We're just, <laughs> we're just going to have to go. We're going to destroy this car. We really just are. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more American Truck Simulator. We're doing a new uh, a new series today. This is probably going to be a multi-part video. We're going to be driving for Old Dominion. Our beautiful Volvo with doubles. We're going to try to drive the entire I-25 from uh, right now. We're currently in Sheridan. So we're kind of off uh, 25 splits off of 90 just south of Sheridan. So we're in Sheridan. Uh, and we're going to try to drive the entire I-25 all the way down to uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is not that far from El Paso. Uh, should be a lot of fun. For our first leg of the trip, we're going to have to run empty down to Casper. There's no trips down I-25 out of Sheridan right now. Uh, everything is like east-west. So uh, we're going to drive down to Casper, going to pick up a load in Casper, and then we'll take it down to Raton. Uh, down on the uh, Colorado New Mexico border so this uh, this first load will probably knock out a big uh, chunk of our trip so anyway let's go ahead and pull the map down and uh, let's look at the truck real quick it is a uh, Old Dominion Volvo this truck is not uh, not really legit as far as uh, being accurate to Old Dominion all the Old Dominion sleeper Volvos that I've seen have a uh, single drive axle instead of the dual and uh, the mirrors, the uh, the hood mirrors should be uh, plastic instead of the uh, chrome. The uh, the bumper should be plastic. So yeah, there's quite a few discrepancies. Uh, shouldn't have the big window, the big lower window on the sleeper should only have the little uh, high one. So yeah, it, it, it's close enough though. You know, it's close enough to get by. So anyway, now let's go ahead and hop in the truck and uh, get our GPS up and we'll get rolling. Let's knock the parking brake off. This is a 435 horsepower D13. And uh, it's a 10 speed. 10 speed manual transmission. I haven't driven a 10 speed in a while, though I love the 10 speeds. They're a lot of fun. It's absolutely a lot of fun. We're just kind of parked off on the side over here by the Walmart. Or by the Walmarts in uh, uh, Sheridan. And uh, I guess we made a trip over there to McDonald's too. At the McDonald's got us a biscuit or something. Biscuit and coffee for breakfast. Alright, so uh, why does it have us going that way? We shouldn't be going to the right. I don't, I don't think. Uh, no. Yeah, that's taking us way out in BFE. Why would we do that? We're going back to the left. I don't GPS doesn't always make sense in ATS. If you guys don't play it. If you're some of the ones that are just watching the gameplay, but you don't like personally play it, then yeah, GPS doesn't always make sense in this game. Trying to get used to these gears. It's been a minute. It's been actually a long time since I've driven a... Uh, a 10 speed it has I used to drive them all the time I used to drive them all the time and then I went to a 13 and uh, like I've driven a 13 for a long long time so 10 or 13s are the most that I drive uh, like for the most part of what I drive um, in game and uh, every once in a while an 18 I don't really drive a lot of 18s I really I really just don't I do a lot of the fleet stuff and uh, on the fleet trucks, you just don't see like you don't see a lot of 18 speed transmissions, right? For you guys that are real life truckers, I mean, y'all can always chime in and let me know, but I just I don't think there's a lot of 18 speeds. I actually looked at some uh, information for Old Dominion on Truckers Forum, and a uh, guy posted about his job with Old Dominion pulling doubles, and he said he drove a uh, 10 speed Volvo, so that's what we're doing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to hit that blinker there. Once again, we are pulling doubles. It's been a minute since I pulled doubles too. And I love it. I love pulling doubles. They're some of uh, the most enjoyable trailers to pull. When I first started, you know, pulling doubles in ATS, uh, when they first released them, you know, the game came out. The game was out for a while before you could ever do doubles. And uh, I started pulling them and it, they freaked me out like no tomorrow. Like they really just did. 
but uh, after you drive them for a while and then especially after you move up to like uh, triples and turnpikes doubles are nothing like they <laughs> they're really nothing at all I don't know how they are in real life maybe they're completely different but uh, in game like they're just uh, they're easy peasy and it's not like uh, it's not like we have to back them up or do any you know any jockeying with them or anything like that all right I think we're set we're rolling down 90 we'll be jumping on 25 in a bit and then heading to Casper I'm going to say we left out I didn't look at the clock I should have I'm going to say we left out about 15 after 7 so uh, we'll be able to drive to 6 15 tonight is what we're going to do yeah let's hop over here for 25 we're on the start of 25 this is the official start of 25 in the game I don't know how accurate this is in real life. I've never been up there, though I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to go to Wyoming and uh, South Dakota. I've always wanted to go to Deadwood. Deadwood, South Dakota is a place that, like, if we were to go up there, and Meredith and I have talked many times about going there one summer. Because uh, we love the TV show Deadwood that came on back in the early 2000s. Uh, some of you might be familiar with it. We just, we absolutely love that show. And so we've always wanted to go to Deadwood to, uh, to check it out. All right, how are we doing here? We're gonna cruise along about 60 mile an hour, 60, 61, 62. These trucks don't get too terribly fast. I don't know what they top out at, but uh, I do know they don't get very fast. At least all the ones that I've seen on the interstate, they're always kind of poking along, you know? Maybe they're governed, maybe it's the way they're geared. You know, it, it could be either or. Either or. All right, let's get a screenshot real fast. All right, there we go, a few screenshots taken care of. We're good on that, we may get a few more later. Let's hop out of the truck, take a peek at her here. Doesn't look bad, it's a pretty sweet setup. Like I said, it's not 100% legit. It's probably maybe 60% or 50%. I really wish someone would take the, the uh, chassis from this Volvo and modify it and remove one of those drive axles and, and get it the correct length and then um, we have a nice truck because they look really sharp with that uh, big ass sleeper on them and then the single drive axle. I, I never forget the first one I saw. I honestly never paid attention. I never paid attention until uh, Meredith and I were making one of our trips uh, with, with our kids uh, down I-40 and we stopped at a, uh, a truck stop somewhere, somewhere in Oklahoma. And uh, there's an old Dominion uh, Volvo with doubles parked out front. And, uh, and then I noticed, I was like, man, I was standing there pumping gas. I was like, he's only got a single drive. I was like, how's that? I thought all trucks with sleepers had like the dual drives. I didn't know that they could do the single. Anyway, not bad. I love it. I love the uh, LTL stuff. It's a lot of fun and you don't see a lot of people doing it in ATS like I said they always people always gravitate towards those uh, really nice customized uh, W900s and Pete's and stuff like that like you don't see people doing uh, a lot of LTL stuff in ATS which is kind of a shame because they miss out I guess they miss out on some cool driving all right let's, let's get back over before we wreck Beautiful day in Wyoming. It's been a long time since we've been in Wyoming as well. I couldn't tell you the last time we had been in Wyoming. Like, it's been a crazy long time. Wyoming, of course, was the last state release on DLC. Texas is supposed to be coming up. And Montana. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, Texas will come out first. I think so. I'm really kind of hoping that they both come out about the same time. Let's face it, if they want to uh, get a good part of the United States covered, they're going to have to kick it into high gear on the states or else it's going to be 50 years before we get <laughs> before we get a lot of the states done. Takes them, it's, it's taking them a while. Drop her down in nine there. I messed myself up a little bit. Pretty nice truck to float, the float gears in. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Some of them I struggle with a little bit. Are you gonna let me over or what? Like, we're gonna take it anyway because I don't know what this dude is doing back there. 
It's really, it's kind of hard to judge how far trailers are. Who it just is. 20 miles to Casper. All right, we'll be uh, stopping and picking up our load and then we'll continue on as far as we can get. We need, I need to hurry up and get around this guy. I'm kind of worried we're about to exit off pretty soon. All right, dude. I just, I don't know. Like, I never know if we're clear or not. That's like super hard to tell. Of course, we are running with the uh, real traffic density mod. It definitely seems like it's kicked traffic up in high gear. Well, some people have mentioned that in comments said traffic looked really, really light. And it does. On the base game, it does look really light. So we did a mod. We put a mod in. We did a thing. And we've got a little better traffic. It's not too crazy. It's like traffic, you know, traffic's one of those things in any game where um, it can add up. You know, it can add up really fast and, and start affecting things. So. All right, we're in Casper proper. We should be exiting somewhere to get this uh, get this load. We'll see where Scott's going. Uh, okay. Okay, I see now. It's uh, 9.25 a.m., so we got to like uh, uh, 18.15 tonight to drive. This uh, picking this load up is going to eat a little bit of our time up. Yeah, right. uh, yeah. Let's make his exit here. go now we're good not too bad when you're empty you may be a little bit weak once we get loaded but all right we got the light if you keep it by the time we get down here i hope so i'd love to have it i'll take it i'll take that all day Watch the trailers back there, make sure we're good. So we're coming down here to Casper to pick up our load. We're picking up actually a load of explosives. We are, some kind of explosive material. I don't know if it's like dynamite per se, but oh damn it, I knew that would happen. I knew it. I knew that would happen. It never fails. I got behind on my gears too. When it's empty, it's really easy to do. And of course, we get the light again. We stop and we get the light. It never fails. Yeah, I think we're good back there. All right, this is where we be going. Where should be? If they got us picking up. These are easy. These are easy with the. Uh, oh damn, they got us. Uh, yeah, practically making a UE. I hope we don't snag one of these cars back there. Uh, come on, really? Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is gonna be tight. We may catch them. 
We may catch them. Unfortunately, AI, like, they're not going to... I'm not even going to hop out and look because I don't want to see how close it is. Yeah, we did clear them, actually. Wow, we did. Just barely. Just barely cleared that dude. Nice. All right. Uh, we got to take this other lane, guys. We're going to take it. Y'all just going to have to stop. We got to take it. This is like the joys of hauling doubles. Don't come up on me. You need to stop. We're going to the UOP. Whatever this is. What did we just hit? What did we just hit? Really? What did we just hit? What was that? A car. Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, dude. I have my blinker on. That's BS. That is complete and total. Like, that is complete and total BS. Like... Do you see what you have to put up with, right? Like, you see what you have to put up with. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. We're just, <laughs> we're just going to have to go. We're going to destroy this car. We really just are. Yeah, we are. Like, bye. <laughs> bye, buddy. <laughs> Your car is gone. Your car is going to get told out. Nothing we could do. Like, we had the blinker on. We had, you know, I had to get in the other la the lane to, uh, to swing it in. And then they want to try to go around me like that. Like, you can't do that. Come on. Cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. Give me a break. Uh, where are we going? Oh, our, uh, our load disappeared. But that's all right. We got a better one. We're actually going to Santa Fe now. So that's even better. That takes further down the line. Yeah, the, uh, the Raton one disappeared on us. All right, we'll take that. We'll go with that. Man, this has turned out to be quite the eventful trip, and I don't know, like, where are we going? Where do we go to pick this up? Like, I have no clue. All right, let's get our uh, emergency flashers on. Yeah, they're still sitting back there. Those dudes are idiots. They really are. These they, <laughs> these AI are so bad. All right, where where do we go? Like I have zero clue where we're supposed to go pick this up at. And we're in double, so like we can't get ourselves in a bad situation. It looks like okay. I think I see. I'm hoping we just kind of get close to it and skip the parking because I really, we may not even be oriented right to go in there. We're probably not. Yeah, we are actually. Okay, we went in the right way, but you know what? We're going to skip it anyway. We're going to get this show on the road. There we go. Nice. Okay, we are loaded up. We're ready to go. Let's drop her down in first. Let's blast off, guys. Let's get out of here. Yes, we're going to get to experience the joys of doubles. Taking our explosives down to Santa Fe. You most definitely don't want to mess with us. You have a bad day. Now look at traffic out there. They are all kind of backed up. What is that mess? Is that uh, the traffic mod that I put in? Yes, it is. And that car is still sitting there. The car is still sitting there that I, uh, that <laughs> we hit. <laughs> He's still sitting there, right? Yes, he is. He is still sitting there. Come on, guys. Y'all, really, they're busting my bees already today. Like, right out the gate. Right out the gate. Literally. Literally right out the gate. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. Why is he not moving? He should be moving. Like, that completely jacked him up. Uh. Okay, well, since they're all backed up over there, I guess we're going to have to go back to the right and do a little finagling here. To, uh, to get out of here. Like, that's the thing about the traffic. That's one of the things about the traffic, guys. You just... I right, do quit being a baby. Move your car. That was like two hours ago. Two hours ago. And if you hadn't tried to go around me when I was like swinging wide to turn, you know. Okay. Well. 
We get a little bit of a tour of Casper here. It's not going to be the most direct way, but it'll be alright. There we go. Okay, so we'll go up here and make another Yui. Alright, let's hop back in real fast. Yeah, there's lots of traffic out and about today. Let's see what it is. It's 10 a.m. This may be a minute, guys. Try not to create too much of a traffic jam. Ah, I knew it. Ah, don't pull up on me. Yeah, this may be bad right here, guys. This may be bad. Uh, is he going to go? Please go back. Please go to the right. He needs to go to the right. Oh, come on. Ah, Y'all killing me. All right, let's back up. No, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. I knew it. I knew that would happen. Doggone it. Uh. Yeah, this is bad, guys. This isn't good. Come on, dude. Just go. Just go. Go. Go, go, go. Come on, dude. Go. Go, go, go. There we go. This is so bad. Oh, this is horrible. You know what? We stop. These guys are stopping traffic that way. We got to force our way out because this is turning into a cluster right here real fast. Like, this is getting really bad right here. All right, let me go, people. Let me go. Let me go. I'll be glad to get on the interstate. This is the first time I've done doubles with a traffic enhancement, and quite frankly, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks a little bit, I'll be honest. All right, let's make our right. Go. We okay. We all right. Get back. We'll stay in this lane. There we go. Little better view. I don't do a, lo a whole lot of external driving. I really just don't. It's it's kind of difficult at times. Not a bad looking truck though. I like it. I dig it. I don't know if we got any uh, old Dominion truckers that follow or not. I think we have one from uh, RNL carriers that watches, maybe. Hop in. Get ready to make her turn here. Hopefully we'll catch light. Come on, do it. Do it. Give us a light. No. No, she is not going to give us a light. It never fails. Usually as soon as we stop moving is when the light changes for us. Or is it like that for real life truck drivers? Like as soon as you come to a stop, the uh, light changes.
Oh, shouldn't have done that because I'm going back to my 13 speed days. <laughs> I'm going back to my 13 speed days. All right, there we go. That's better. A little heavy. She's got a little weight on her. She's not too bad, though. We can start off in second pretty easy in this thing. All right, now we are finally rolling and established on the interstate, so maybe we can cover some... Cover some miles. It's got us arriving at uh, 9.39 p.m., 644 miles to hours in 35 minutes. We've already been driving because we had to uh, drive from Sheridan down to Casper, so we will have to stop somewhere. I say we can only go to about uh, 18, 15, then we have to stop. All right, let's just cruise along about 60, uh, 62, 63, something like that. Better cruise. Nice, leisurely pace. Uh, LTL is like driving Miss Daisy in a way. Like you don't get in a hurry for no one. Beautiful out here, though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Wyoming's a nice state. I, I'll be honest. Uh, when it first released, I, I got it the day it released and uh, drove a trip on it. And um, the trip on uh, what is it? 80? I guess it was 80 across Wyoming, east to west, or west to east, or whatever. Uh, it was kind of lackluster, right? I mean, it was nice. It's nice scenery, but it's just kind of rolling hills and grass and stuff like that. It wasn't nothing really spectacular. But the more that I have driven in uh, Wyoming in the game, I've grown to like it a lot. Like, it's got some really, really nice areas. Beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Some really nice areas. We'll hop back out in a minute. Follow along. There we go. We're going to get back into triples again sometime, too. I think that'd be pretty nice. It's been a while since we've done triples. So it is, uh, it's noon. We got a little over six hours left to drive. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll knock out a good portion of this trip in one go. We really just will. <laughs> it's typical, typical LTL right here. Like everyone's passing you up. How many times you drive down the interstate and you get behind a big long line of traffic and then at the front end of it, it's uh, some kind of LTL carrier with doubles or something like that. It never fails. Like UPS, uh, UPS, uh, Old Dominion. be I don't know what that is actually exiting off there I don't know what highway it is so far so good it'd be so cool it'd be so cool if you change lanes in front of another 18 wheeler at the AI in the game with flasher lights at you to let you know to get over 
let you clear, you know. I don't know if they still do that or not. They used, used to see that a lot back in the day. They're a log truck, nice. You don't see log trucks in the AI, AI a whole lot. I, that may be like the first one I think I've ever seen, honestly. It's not like there's uh, a whole lot of trees around here to cut though. Love that bridge, those bridges are sweet. Fireworks, that, that is like typical interstate experience right there, the big fireworks billboards. Another set of doubles. Like reefer doubles maybe or something. Insulated, maybe. Missile drive. I, I noticed this earlier. I wonder if this is uh, like this is the main gate for uh, Francis E. Warren Air Force Base. The big uh, oh, there's all over the place. Looking at the uh, <laughs> the nuclear missiles. Those must be like tridents. Some kind of ICBM. Yeah, the big uh, like they have tons of silos there. Scattered out across the uh, Wyoming landscape. This guy's gonna make me hit my brakes. What's going on? What that's about. I don't know why he's poking, but he is. He's kind of dragging along a little bit. Come on, guys. What are you doing? I, I need to get over. Like, someone needs to let me go. Now, watch. We'll get in his other lane to pass him up. He'll get on the gas. Come on, we're dragging. We can't get up speed now. We're gonna kill our momentum. There we go. Oh, he, he exited, okay. All right, well, we'll get back over. Have to reset our crews now. There we go, now we're set. Doing on uh, how we doing on fuel here? Yeah, we're all right. Well, all right. Where we stop for the night, we'll probably have to uh, we'll have to fuel up, but it'll be okay. It looks like someone done had a wreck over there. Yep, <laughs> AI's done had a wreck. And these guys are jacked up too. I don't know what's going on with them all. They're crazy. They just don't know what to do. That time's flying by too. It's already uh, 1400, so. A little bit further, a little bit further, and we'll have to think about stopping.
The steering loves to drift. It, it, it has a little bit of a drift in it. Like you definitely can't let go of it and just expect it to to, uh, to go straight. Like it is not going to do it. That's not going to happen. We're in Colorado now, right? Got a way station coming up. We better jump in. Yeah, it's Fort Collins. Yeah, we're in Colorado now, guys. Welcome to Colorado. I bet. I'd be willing to bet we're going to have to go away. Bypass. Wow, really? We've yet to weigh. Okay, well, we'll take it. I guess it's because of explosives. Like, we don't want you in here. We don't want you slowing down and pulling in here. What if someone rear ends them? That's someone suggested this. This is a viewer's suggestion to drive the I-25. I love the I-25, especially through Wyoming, Colorado. Down in New Mexico is beautiful. Really nice. I haven't done as much like uh, south of Raton down into uh, Las Cruces. I haven't driven down there a whole lot on it, but uh, from like Raton north, I've driven a ton. Like it's one of my favorite routes. Like tell the traffic mod, the traffic density mod is most definitely doing its thing. Like it is absolutely increased traffic. It's not like crazy bumper to bumper, but it's definitely a lot more. on Denver pretty soon. Yeah, I think I sit in the distance there. I sure do. Slow her down, too. I didn't realize it dropped 55. 55. Let's hit the cruise again. That's good. Let's uh, hop out, we'll check out Denver. Do a little bit, try not to wreck. Like, check out Full Tilt Gaming sometimes. He drives like a boss from exterior all the time. Like, <laughs> just large majority is driving. He does a lot from the exterior. I can't do it. We do all right. We do all right when we have to. There you go. There's Rockies in the distance. Going through Colorado Springs and uh, Pueblo, and then Raton. All right, 
let's hop back in. Looking good, very nice. I've done a lot of LTL stuff in uh, Denver. That's like one of my favorite places to do. Like if I wanna do a bunch of short trips, um, I'll do LTL or uh, something like UPS package delivery, something like that in Denver and Colorado Springs and Pueblo and just like, it's really good if you wanna practice backing up. Because you can get a ton of little trips, like 20, you know, 20, 50 mile trips. And uh, make a whole lot of deliveries. We may have to do that again sometime. It's been a long time since I've done that. All right, let's see. It's uh, 1600, so we got till 18, uh, 15. Look at our map, see where we're going to go, where we're going to stop at. Uh, it's always so hard to judge. I guess maybe Pueblo. I was looking to see, uh, yeah, we got this big, uh, this big truck stop right here. That might be where we need to go. We may wind up stopping just a little bit early, but I would rather do that because then after uh, Pueblo, there's like not much of anything. Yeah, there's not really any good truck stops except for this one down here. I don't think we'll make that. I, I don't think that one's going to be any good for us. So let's go. Uh, let's go to this one right here. That's going to. No, I don't want all that. Well, yeah, okay, that'll work. I see what it's doing now. That's where we'll go. I think that's going to be like a really, really good spot. If you've been enjoying the American Truck Simulator videos I've done, be sure to check out the playlist. I've got a ton on there. I've got like over 100 videos of uh, ATS. This is one of the very first videos that I ever, uh, ever started doing or series. And very early on, we were doing uh, RimWorld, uh, War Thunder, and then uh, I was doing ATS. Back in the day, it, it seems, uh, it's, it's weird. It seems like it was just yesterday and a long time ago at the same time. Who is this, JB Hunt? Who is that in front of us? I can't tell. Yeah, JB Hunt. I have never had a JB Hunt truck in ATS ever. As long as I have played this game, I have never done anything for JB Hunt. JB Hunt doesn't seem to be as prevalent on the roads like they used to back in the day. Like they were everywhere. Them and Schneider, like they were all over the place. And I think uh, JB Hunt is gradually going more towards uh, intermodal. Like uh, intermodal shipping and stuff like that. I don't think uh, they drive on the interstate like they used to. All right, we got to be getting close to our rest stop. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's going to time out just about perfect. It's uh, almost 1700 now. So by the time we get down there and get parked, we may go ahead and grab some fuel while we're, while we're there before we uh, shut down. Maybe, we'll have to see. See what our time looks like. All right, here we go. This is going to be us, guys, right here. There we go. Nice. I enjoy floating them down. It's a lot of fun. All 
Alright, I think we're good to blast off. We'll beat that guy. That's a nice truck stop here. I like this. This is like the typical American truck stop experience if it's the same one I'm thinking about. Got it. There we go. Yeah, look at the trucks parked on the shoulder. Yeah, this is just like it. This is really nice. It's gonna be a loves. Yes, it is loves. Uh, where do we go in at? I think we have to go around. Maybe, maybe, maybe so. Not really 100% certain on that. The entrance is going to be down here. <laughs> I think we went the wrong way. Yeah, we did. It's all right. It's all right. We'll be okay. It's just the entrance anyway. Man, there's a lot of trucks here. Oh, look at there. He came around me. <laughs> nice. I didn't see him. He's like, look at that jack leg. What is he doing? I'm like, dude, I'm hauling explosives. Not hay. All right, we'll grab some fuel real fast and then uh, we'll park her somewhere and call it a day. Pick up with the next installment. There we go. Let's take her out of gear. Set the parking brake. Pop out. Oh, come on. Cooperate with me. Fill the engine. Get some fuel. There we go. We only got a little bit of time left. Gonna be expensive. Luckily, it's not uh, real life prices like it's 231. We wish, right? We wish. That's where a gallon of milk's gonna be like $15. Boy, it's going. It's crazy. And it sucks because I live in an area where uh, there's like, we live in an oil field, basically. Like all around us. And uh, they're not drilling. They're not, <laughs> they're not drilling here. So, that sucks. Used to. When we moved here, it was booming. Like, you couldn't find a house anywhere. Uh, it was like, we really lucked out getting, uh, when we first moved here, we got an apartment. And we were extremely, extremely lucky to get that because uh, one of the guys from the oil field, he was going to move out of town. He's going to a different job. And so we lucked out and there's just not a good spot to park. I can't, uh, I can't back. I can't back this thing. Like, um, yeah, we're going to have to go down. I think we're going to have to go down and park on the shoulder of the road. Yeah, I do believe. That's all right. Everyone else is doing it too, so be fine. I'm surprised they don't have pull through spots there. A lot of times they do. Like, how? Where are the doubles supposed to go? That's all right. I think right here would be a good spot. That was good as any. I don't think we're going to get a better spot than this. There we go. Not too bad. Along with everyone else, right? Let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to pull this down. Oops. Not that. That one. Go back to you. We're going to hop out and grab another screenshot real fast, and then we'll call it a day. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the LTL trucking. 
and uh, pulling the doubles and all that stuff. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Uh, you've been amazing, and we're creeping up on 2,000 subs. Like, it's getting really close. Seems like it's just yesterday we were hitting 1,000. Thank you again, and with all that said, we'll catch you on the road next time. Peace.